Hello and welcome to Tour Obscure and today we are in Chesterfield to look at this beauty The Church of St Mary's and All Saints, better known as the Crooked Spire, can be seen for miles around. Even the local football team is nicknamed the Spireites in honour of the tower. The tower stands at an impressive 69 metres tall and the 45 degree twist of the spire causes the tip to lean almost 3 metres from its true centre. This place dates back to 1234 AD, although most of what we see today does date from the 14th century. And in 1994, it became the UK's only representative of the Twisted Spires Association of Europe. So there's more than one out there in Europe. And I'll show you a couple of pictures now, just to show a comparison of what they look like compared to this place. So what is the truth behind the Twisted Spire? There's a lot of local legend going around, a lot of urban myths, even me as a small boy, being from the local area, heard some of these rumours. However, if we look a bit deeper into it, it's quite obvious there were a number of factors what contributed towards the Crooked Spire. In 1362, when the spire was actually built, the Black Death was sweeping through England at the time. A lot of the skilled workers will have been wiped out by this. So that's one reason. In the 17th century, 33 tons of lead were added to that spire. So that obviously wasn't designed to hold that kind of weight. Most churches are awesome buildings when you walk in. You always get that feeling of how on earth did they build something like this way back then. But this one's a uh, really impressive uh, when you walk in one of the first things you notice is uh, the roof you've got some lovely wo decorative wooden beams So this behind me is actually the oldest part of the church. It's over a thousand years old, it's the font. It's where people get baptized. And you can really tell its age. So this box, what's behind me, or this chest even, is known as the poor man's box and it was used for people to deposit money in monetary gifts and then at christmas the box would be opened and all the money what was inside would be given to the poor people of the parish which is quite nice it was uh, also used to store the church silver back in the day so chesterfield being no stranger to local legend this chest behind me on top of it sits a whalebone now how's a whalebone going in chesterfield truth is nobody really knows it was uh, recorded in the early 1800s about its presence in the church um, apparently it was used uh, in the leather making industry uh, as a tool so that's probably how it ended up in chesterfield but nobody really knows the truth but it's 2023 and it's still here Another interesting fact about this place is the golden cockerel weather vane, which is at the top of the spire. It is actually inscribed with all the names of previous vicars. So uh, I wouldn't like to be the guy who uh, 
has to pop up there and uh, collect that to uh, put a new name on it. The church could have looked very different though today, as in 1961, a major fire broke out in the north transept. It started on 22nd of December 1961, and it was quite severe. And on display in the church, we've got some photos of that day in 1961 of the fire. You can see firefighters trying the best to uh, save the church. The fire was literally two or three minutes away from taking the spire and engulfing that in flames. And that probably would have been lost. After the fire, the uh, total cost of repairs was 30,000 pounds, which doesn't sound like a hell of a lot, but in 1961, that was quite the sum of money. Now, unfortunately for me, I've come a little bit too early filming this video because they actually do tours of the spire you can actually go up to the top of the tower. That costs around eight pounds, I believe, uh, but it only runs from Easter until around October time, I believe. Uh, so we're just a little bit early for that. But if you do pop by Chesterfield, that is something uh, you should definitely check out. And I don't know whether this is just coincidence, but there's uh, a couple of lampshades or light shades just sat in the corner. And it's uh, obvious one of them's been damaged, but does it look familiar? So there's plenty of beautiful stained glass windows in here, as we've seen. But there's one particular which is very special, and it's the one behind me. I'll show you some close-up shots now. But this window was installed in 1984 as part of the 750th anniversary celebrations of the church. It actually depicts the entire history of Chesterfield. We've got the entire history of Chesterfield from top to bottom. You can see some coal mines on there. You can see the crooked spire just on the right hand side there. I believe that's the Market Hall building just below it. Overall, the crooked spire is well worth a visit. The staff in the church shop are very helpful and there are notice boards dotted all around the church offering far more information than I could fit into this video. So if you find yourself in North Derbyshire with a couple of hours to spare, make sure to visit this historic and unique place. You certainly won't be disappointed.